I think you all know a lot of these videos are basically just a way for me to plug in my Siege gameplay of that week, but aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, multiplayer games is the topic of the fucking discussion today, and I always like to have one of these rants kind of per week, uh, j just to sort of see what the comment section's kicking up with. And one of the things that has sort of become a joke with me and my friends is fucking Battle Royale games. Every single game under the sun is going to be a Battle Royale game. Do you hear about that new uh, Solitaire update coming out in the next week? Windows 10 update, Battle Royale mode. Do you know that Minesweeper? Well, I guess that's kind of a Battle Royale mode. I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I heard they're bringing back Spider Solitaire as a platformer Battle Royale, believe it or not. It's kind of getting a reboot with a whole fucking story and everything. All jokes aside, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Battle Royale games have fucking taken over by storm, and it's almost like watching the whole shooter epidemic that was started with Call of Duty 4 scrunched and compacted in a matter of months versus years, and I, 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 fe I feel a little interested about this situation. Now, without a doubt, the most popular games right now are Battle Royale games. In fact, the most popular game right now is a fucking Battle Royale game. Fortnite? I see Fortnite everywhere. I go to the bar, motherfuckers talk about walking home, or going home, playing Fortnite, okay? Everywhere I go to, everyone's got Fortnite. I go to anybody's PlayStation 4, Xbox One, they've always got Fortnite as one of the first three games launched. My, uh, my, 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 fa my close, you know, sort of family members, little kids involved in that, Fortnite all the way every day. And for me, I'm sure Fortnite's a great game, it's just not my kind of game. I play something like Player Unknown's Battleground, and even then, I gotta play it with my buddies, okay? That game is often best in a squad or a duo. I can't play a PUBG Battle Royale game in a solo frontier in my in, in my honest opinion anywhere. The only multiplayer game I play anyways is Rainbow Six Siege, and it's I, I love it so much. It's reinvigorated my love for tactical shooters anyways. I, I might make a super review for this game. Let me know in the comments section below if you want me to make a super review for Rainbow Six Siege. Anyways, moving back onto the Battle Royale sort of trend. It's interesting to see such a franchise or such a game type basically become so popular out of nowhere, spread like literal wildfire, and become main stream within a matter of almost no time at all. Believe it or not, one of the most streamed games on Twitch right now, outpacing either League of Legends, Dota, or Counter-Strike, which for, I guess, the entire time on Twitch, held its fucking ground, is now Fortnite by a large margin. I see a lot of streamers or YouTubers trying to become popular way off the Fortnite trend. I see the Fortnite YouTube community in all of its fucking glory kick off, and to me, it's almost like something that I don't understand. Maybe I'm getting old Older, but I guess it has its place in history and time in general because it is it is without a doubt one of the big pillars of gaming at this point and I'm sure Epic Games is happy and I'm sure a lot of gamers are happy as well. I can see the appeal of Fortnite again I just don't kind of understand it myself but then because of Fortnite's success and also PlayerUnknown's Battleground and them sort of vying out with each other I've also seen the shit from mobile gaming sort of kick all the way over to the PC or Mac or console side as well things as well. Basically, if you haven't been following, or at least I've sort of been keeping a tab on this myself, is when PUBG got really, really popular, on the iPhone and Android, dude, everyone was fucking making a mobile game clone of PlayerUnknown's Battleground. To the point where the same company, I'm sure NetEase, made like two of the same fucking games. Just released both of the games online. They didn't give a shit about having a PlayerUnknown's Battleground game exist already in their name. They released both of them, and guess what? Both of them had a really healthy player population. Fortnite and PUBG both released, and and to this day, they are the most popular, most grossing games on their respective mobile platforms right now. In fact, both of the platforms, it's either one or the other, which is goddamn impressive if you think about it. It is something that no other game has really been able to pull off. And it's the sole reason why I fucking guarantee you the next Call of Duty game the next Battlefield game. Fuck, the next Solitaire game. I know I made that joke in the beginning, but I'm dead serious. The next fucking Kirby game. Well, Kirby already has a Battle Royale, but you get the point. It's gonna have a fucking Battle Royale mode. And what I have a sort of weird thing about it, too, is almost the laziness I'm kind of seeing in some of these Battle Royale games anyways. Let's ignore the fact that some of these games have reached outlandish levels of Battle royale -dom. Um, Some of the, the mobile-like games that are coming out with these Battle Royale modes. In fact, any game under 
of the Sun that's coming with Battle Royale modes in general. I've seen a game like Warface that came out with a Battle Royale mode, and after having played it for all of 5 or 10 minutes, I realized it was the most painfully generic Battle Royale mode ever. You might as well release Need for Speed 2015, re re introduce a Battle Royale mode into it. Everyone starts off with a fucking y y hand cart, and whoever gets the Toyota A86 first gets to drift their way into the fucking top. You might as well put that shit in there and call it a day. To me, I'm sort of seeing a billion of these Battle Royale games come up with almost no fucking effort put into it. And the problem is, Battle Royales aren't a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. They can be a tense and fun times, which is why I enjoy playing PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds with my friend. There is nothing more enjoyable than dropping into any point in the map, scavenging for your guns, and working together in a tactical team. It almost feels like I'm playing SOCOM US Navy SEALs again. You remember that game from the PS2 era, that tactical military sim type game? It's almost like I'm playing SOCOM 3 online with my friends again in a fucking open world. But to me, I'm seeing a billion of these games come out at the same time doing almost nothing different, completely oversaturating the market to the point where it's going to become a meme that dies out pretty fucking quick, unfortunately. For me, Battle Royale introduced me to a lot of things such as the original Battle Royale Japanese movie, the violent fucking manga, uh, even more you know, westernized versions of Battle Royale. It's been an interesting fucking concept, both from a story perspective when people implement it, and even from a gameplay perspective. But developers, mobile and fucking big time anyways, you gotta fucking relax with some of this shit. Okay, Minecraft was cutesy with its Battle Royale. I guess it made sense, it worked really well. H1Z1 worked well, okay, to the point where it became popular, and DayZ worked well too. It's because these games innovated with the genre rather than fucking creating something and haphazardly introducing the genre into it. I've seen battle royale games that just put like 10 fucking people into a smaller map and call it a day. That's not a battle royale game. That's a fucking free for all. Okay, guess what? It's been here since the dawn of first person shooters. You can't just shovel that shit in and call it a day. There are some games that could make amazing battle royale games, but they're not getting it. Do you know how much I would love if Konami in all their shitty glory came by and introduced a battle royale mode into Metal Gear Solid? Solid 5, a game that already has two big maps to begin with, tons of fucking bases, many weapon types, amazing fucking gameplay. I would love to see games that actually deserve the title actually receive updates for it. But getting random games to come in with a battle royale mode makes no sense. It's like if they released Rainbow Six Siege Battle Royale. I wouldn't fucking like it. It would turn out to be absolute dog shit. But if somehow Ubisoft found a way to consider it monetizable, it would be a great addition and add it in, it would almost cheapen the value of such a game too. Something like Call of Duty, which is eschewing its campaign for obviously a battle royale mode, is going to end up in another streak of oversaturated clones in an oversaturated market to begin with. People didn't want to lose gameplay features or a fun campaign, I guess, even by Call of Duty standards, for a subpar battle royale mode, which I've already played in Call of Duty Online. You can sure as shit believe they'll bring that version rather than innovating them fucking selves. Again, it's a topic I want to ask all you people from it myself. Okay, Battle Royale games. I make jokes about them all the time. Everything is becoming a Battle Royale game. I posted a fucking meme for Christ's sake, which again, everyone laughed at. But in a world where gaming companies just left to fucking shovel the shit out to our face, I'm pretty sure a Battle Royale mode is going to be made for almost everything under the sun. I heard they're fucking bringing back Totally Spies as a fucking Battle Royale game. Don't believe me? Watch it, okay? If I'm right, you know what? If I'm fucking right in the next six months, I don't know what I'm going to do then. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about the whole Battle Royale epidemic, okay? Epidemic is the word we're using here for today in the comment section below. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I have to go suffer through an aneurysm.